Yo, what is good, Outlaw Fam? It's your host, Louisiana Outlaw here. I'm George Outlaw. And, uh, I finally got a PlayStation 5. After waiting how many fucking months now? In a long hey, time. Yo. So... Here we go. Oh, there it is. Alright. Come up. Alright. Hey, look. 8K, motherfucker. Although I don't have an 8K TV yet, so... We'll just be using the uh, 4K at 120 hertz. So, with that being said, where is my knife? The knife I'm going to be using is, is this motherfucker right here. Because my benchmate, um, my uh, other benchmate, not the, um, which one is it? Not the Mini Osborne, but the other one, it's actually out in the truck right now, so... You know my cousin sharpened this for me, resharpened it. Yeah. If you were Back here then. if you were here, I would actually use my um my knife sharpening system that I have and get a really good edge on it. Alright. That's uh, being cut. Now from what I've seen, and I'm gonna have to put this down here because uh it's a box within a box. And this is already broke shit. Oh. Take this out too well. Uh, yep. I don't know what the fuck that was. That must have been my vape. Hang on. I might have to move the microphone. Right. Okay, so let me see if I can't get this out first. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because I... The only time I've ever seen a PS5 in person is at Walmart behind a display case. So I couldn't really, like, feel it out like I wanted to and see if I liked the curvatures and everything of it. Um, so yeah. Uh, now, mm -hmm. there is, um, a little bit of an issue, I heard, it's usually only in regards to people who have had their PlayStation 5s taken apart, um, but I, I don't really, I've never been the one to kind of stand my consoles vertical anyways, like, even back with the Xbox 360, I didn't stand it vertical, I want to say the, uh, Xbox, uh, One S, it came with a little stand, but I always had them, uh, horizontal, and that's just how I kept them, because I've never had a actual place to put them vertical, so, yeah. I've never seen a concept for vertical. Uh, the, the PS5, you can stand vertical, and then obviously the Xbox, uh... But, uh... They stand the PS4 vertical, never. Uh, they actually do have an option to do it, um, but it's just actually no, no, they don't have an option to. Uh, uh, that's right, the uh, PS4 did not have an option for that. Uh, the PS5, however, does, and then I think they did make a model for the PS3 that you could stand vertical. Well, actually, I heard you. There's stand for the PS4 for vertical, but I just. Or get some stands for it to lift it up so air can flow underneath it. I don't know why you would need stands because there's no airflow vent underneath it. There's little things that come for it, so that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, that might be if you're like placing on something else that needs a uh, airflow, yeah. like a surround sound system or something. Well, I'm talking about like the airflow in the room to keep it from over. Even though it's not the outer part that needs to be cooled down, it's internal. It's not. So, cooling down the plastic, it's not cooling down the internal. It might help a little bit. Not like well. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah. But, okay, <clears throat> so it is a digital copy. 
What you but mean? I, like, did, I did not buy the digital version of the PS5, so I did buy the. I, I bought the disc version. I'm not going digital. I hate. I honestly like, even though my computer does not have a disc drive, and I'm using Steam for most of my games, or all of my games. Um, you know, I don't care for uh, digital copies. And my grandmother, she told There's me, a, like, you know, keep all, like, the the packaging together in case we ever have to take it back for whatever reason. So you got the same one I have, then. I have digital copy, God of War. Oh, my God. And the fucking, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is gorgeous. But yeah. you know, speaking of, hmm. thanks for reminding me, even though this is a Sony video, I won't say. That? The one Ooh, thing I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> that is nice. Nice, nice. I was going to, I know we were, I, I was going to uh, show this off in one of our videos before I never did, but you mean kind of like, I prefer having did like the disc physical. copy. Of, yeah, like, I prefer so. physical as well. I know a lot of people are like this is crazy easy. Well, yeah, if you mistreat it, I can literally go in there and look at every single fucking Xbox One game I have, or even the PlayStation Four games that I have, and there's not a single scratch on any of them. Why? Because when I'm done, I put them back in their cases like a smart person. Hey. Here's the thing, I could have got this on digital copy, but if I've always wanted the limited edition now, Jackie Robinson edition. Now, the only downside I don't like about this is, the, like, I do like the matte uh, white panels. I do not like the glossy intersection. Um, so, but when I had the uh, Xbox One, the, the big fat black bastard, um... Uh, it was glossy, and I didn't care for that either, so, yeah. But, uh, let's see what we got on the back. HDMI, okay, that's nice. It's got an internal power supply, two USB ports. Let's see if I can show you this. Two USB ports and a LAN connection. So, we already know that I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm going to run a wired connection, because that's, I run wired for everything, like, for the internet, I always run wired would be my Xbox, my PlayStation, my computer. Pretty much anything that runs a wired connection, I run a wired connection. It's just so much easier, it's faster, and yeah. Um, but, with that being said, here's the PlayStation, so... I'll have to figure out a way to take a photo of it for you guys. And, uh, yeah. So let me figure out a way somewhere to put this. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes with it. Alright. So, got a user's manual. Those are bigger than the one that came with my PS4. Well, it's two separate ones. Mine, I had two separate, but they were small. I think, uh, yeah, they two different languages. So you got English and I'm assuming Spanish. And probably Japanese, because... Of course. I don't, I don't know if it came with a Jap. You would think they would, since it's made in Japan. Well, so. I think okay, so I think the Japan variants come with uh the Japanese language, but the uh the what is it Midwestern or no, like the United States and all that, and like Mexico and Canada and all that, like those they come with English and Spanish, so. Or the the Mexican variant or Mexico variant may come with just Spanish, but like the uh, North American variant comes with Spanish and English, because we do and have a lot of uh, people who speak Spanish here in America. So, what about French? Because you know Canadians speak French. Maybe well, their variant uh, gets it, and we have the uh, the base right here. I'm not worried about that. Ooh! I don't have to go searching for a fucking Ethernet, or not Ethernet, uh, 
HDMI cable. Sony, you to go. You to go with this time because I don't think I've ever seen a fucking console come with a uh, HDMI cable. So that's one less thing I have to buy. Okay? And then we got the power cable here, which is actually my favorite, to be honest, is Sony's like traditional, you know, power cable with the uh, the round the round bits. I like, like that. I like yeah. that a lot better. And then we got always do. Oh my lord! I know this is a chaotic fucking uh, a chaotic uh inbox or unboxing, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. I wanted to include them on this. That is nice. My fucking, uh, we're gonna have to do a separate video comparing the uh, the PS5 controller to the PS4 controller, but that is nice. Oh yeah, I actually like the way that feels. That touchpad, you know how you can click the touchpad on the uh, PS4 and how it makes that clicky sound. This is actually a lot smoother. I like that. That's that's nice. That is that's actually a lot comfortable. Sony, you should have uh, really came up with this design for the PlayStation 4 before the PlayStation 5 because this is a lot more comfortable. Mm. When you compare them side by side, I find this is a lot more comfortable to use. Plus the fact that it uses a uh, USB-C, which is it nice is. because... Well, this is nice because a lot of my products that I have now, like, as regards to, like, my um, GoPro and whatnot, use USB-C. So, finding a USB-C cable around here is not going to be hard whatsoever. Which leads me to the next uh, portion. Got the uh, controller charging cable. So, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the plastic. Um, it just kind of... Plastic, it just looks cheap to me. Um, but I do like the matteness of it and the fact that it's not shiny. Um, yes, I'm taking a dig at the front of the PlayStation 5 because I really don't like that gloss. That gloss is a fingerprint magnet. It is a dust, well, not really a dust magnet, but a fingerprint magnet. It gets scratched up easily. It's just, yeah. Uh, but... <clears throat> I was hoping that the uh, the game would have been a physical copy, but hey, what can you do? Uh, but I should have expected this because when I bought, um, I think it was the Assassin's Creed uh, Edition Xbox One, One S. It um, it wasn't like anything fancy. It was a limited edition console, but it was just a bundle. But it also came with a, a code for like a DLC, like digital game. So. Eh, can't really complain. But, uh, as far as, like, the liquid metal shit goes, just to kind of, like, save my grace and everything and try and keep it as long as I can, I'm going to place it, uh, horizontally over vertically. That's just how I feel and how I want to run it. Uh, you can do what, you guys can do what y'all want to do if y'all get one, but just to save it, I'm just going to go ahead and uh run it uh horizontally over vertically even though i've seen a lot of people say that you're really not going to have that issue um but you know it is what it is all right although i don't i and this might be nitpicking i don't like the fact that they use cheap ass fucking uh twist ties like give me some plastic shit but i guess with the uh the wave of, um, the wave of, like, you know, being more, uh, environment friendly, I guess that's why they went with, uh, the paper and over the plastic, <clears throat> uh, twist ties. Plastic coated twist ties. Yeah. So, make sure I'm not forgetting anything in here. Let's see. Okay, so we're good. So now, what I need to do... Oh yeah, I forgot to unbundle this. I'll get this set up. I gotta figure out where, how I'm gonna set this up, because I have my Nintendo Switch base uh, sitting on my uh, 
surround zone, so I might have to move some shit around. I could actually probably move the Nintendo Switch base somewhere else. Uh, so that, that should be fine. But, um, well, yeah, we know, with that being said, uh, you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I know it's not like some of the higher end unboxers out there, but I'm working with limited space with my desk being right here. And, uh, if I did the unboxing downstairs, then they couldn't be a part of it, so... Well, they could have if I would have brought my laptop down there, but... It's easier just to do it in my room, because then I can take this box and then put it in my old room with all my other boxes. Because the uh, my old room has kind of become my, like, little storage container for... Or storage room for my, uh, electronic boxes. Uh, except for the Switch. The Switch box is small enough it can stay in here. I do want to see something. Yeah. I might actually be able to, uh... Because it does have the 3.5, I might actually be able to use my Corsair headset with it. That ha My uh, wired Cor Corsair headset that doesn't require any supplemental power. So... Yeah. I'll see. Um, I know the Corsair headset, it worked with the, uh... With the PlayStation 4, because I used them when me and him hopped on uh, Grand Theft Auto that one a while back. So. But my grandmother, she's like, well, uh, go ahead and uh, put your uh, PlayStation 4 in the uh, PS5 box. I'm like, I'm still going to use that, because my buddy's going to want to play uh, Grand Theft Auto from time to time. And uh, he doesn't have a PlayStation 5 yet. <laughs> so she's like, okay. I didn't, I didn't say it like that, I just told him, like, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because my friend still does want to play PS4 with me if I'm not playing PS5. So, my family, hey. my family's been very, very understanding, so. But, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be alerted when we upload a new video. And, if you have a PlayStation 5 and you have your, you've had yours for a while now, Tell me how you like it, like, or even if you have the Xbox, uh, Series X, uh, tell me how you like it, like, tell me what you prefer, do you prefer PC, console, like, just give some thoughts down below, or if you like all three, uh, or all four, because we do have to include the Nintendo Switch in this, uh, if you like them, uh, let us know. Anyways, I'm your host, Louisiana Outlaw. And I'm Jim Bradley. And we are signing out. Det är det enda ni gör på dagarna. Ni sitter där även tril och spelar Dota. Vi sitter här i väntan och spelar lite Dota. I hear you, man.